Udaipur, pronunciation, also known as the City of Lakes, is a city, Nagar Nigam and the administrative headquarters of the Udaipur district in the Indian state of Rajasthan. It is the historic capital of the Kingdom of Mewar in the former Rajputana Agency. It was founded in 1559 by Maharana Uday Singh II of the Sisodia clan of Rajput, when he shifted his capital from the city of Chittorgarh to Udaipur after Chittorgarh was besieged by Akbar. It remained as the capital city till 1818 when it became a British princely state, and thereafter the Mewar province became a part of Rajasthan when India gained independence in 1947. Udaipur is located in the southernmost part of Rajasthan, near the Gujarat border. It is surrounded by Aravalli Range, which separates it from Thar Desert. It is around 655 km from Delhi and approximately 800 km from Mumbai, placed almost in the middle of two major Indian metro cities. Besides, connectivity with Gujarat ports provide Udaipur a strategic geographical advantage. Udaipur is well connected with nearby cities and states by means of road, rail and air transportation facilities, including Maharana Pratap Airport. Popular languages spoken include Hindi, English and Rajasthani Mewari. Dubbed, the most romantic spot on the continent of India, by British administrator James Todd, Udaipur is a popular tourist destination and is known for its history, culture, scenic locations and the Rajput era palaces. It is popularly known as the City of Lakes because of its sophisticated lake system. It has seven lakes surrounding the city. Five of the major lakes, namely Fateh Sagar Lake, Lake Pikola, Swaroop Sagar Lake, Rangsagar and Dude Talay Lake have been included under the restoration project of the National Lake Conservation Plan of the Government of India. Besides lakes, Udaipur is also popular for its massive historic forts and palaces, museums, galleries, natural locations and gardens, architectural temples, as well as traditional fairs, festivals and structures. The Udaipur economy is primarily driven by tourism, though minerals, marble processing, chemical manufacturing and development, electronic manufacturing and the handicraft industry are also contributors. Udaipur hosts several state and regional public offices, including offices of Director of Mines and Geology, Commissioner of Excise, Commissioner of Tribal Area Development, Hindustan Zinc Limited, and Rajasthan State Mines and Mineral Corporation Limited. Besides, Udaipur is rising as educational hub as well, with five universities, 14 colleges and more than 160 high schools. Udaipur is home to IIM Udaipur, the fifth best management institution in the country according to NIRF Ranking 1 released by MHRD. A new mall named Urban Square is also under construction in Udaipur. History. Prehistoric era The Ahar River bank was inhabited by men in about 2000 BC. There are footprints of two different civilizations, which provides claims about earliest inhabitants of the Ahar culture. The first ones are the Bhil, Beals, the indigenous tribes originated at this place, and are still residing in the area in large numbers. The second footprints were of Rajputs, who once entered the enclosed valley, and then continued to live in this place for centuries. The establishment of Udaipur as a city Udaipur was founded in 1559, by Maharana Uday Singh II in the fertile circular Girwa Valley to the southwest of Nagda, on the Banas River. The city was established as the new capital of the Mewar Kingdom. This area already had a thriving trading town, Ayad, which had served as capital of Mewar in the 10th through 12th centuries. The Girwa region was thus already well known to Chitto rulers who moved to it whenever the vulnerable tableland Chittorgar was threatened with enemy attacks. Maharana Uday Singh II, in the wake of 16th century emergence of artillery warfare, decided during his exile at Kumbalgar to move his capital to a more secure location. Ayad was flood prone, hence he chose the ridge east of Pikola Lake to start his new capital city, where he came upon a hermit while hunting in the foothills of the Aravalli Range. The hermit blessed the king and guided him to build a palace on the spot, assuring him it would be well protected. Uday Singh II consequently established a residence on the site. 
In November 1567, the Mughal Emperor Akbar laid siege to the venerated fort of Chittor. To protect Udaipur from external attacks, Maharana Udai Singh built a six-kilometre-long city wall, with seven gates, namely Sarajpol, Chandpol, Udiapol, Hathipol, Ambapol, Brahmpol and so on. The area within these walls and gates is still known as the Old City or the Walled City. As the Mughal Empire weakened, the Sisodia rulers, reasserted their independence and recaptured most of Mewar except for Chittor. Udaipur remained the capital of the state, which became a princely state of British India in 1818. Being a mountainous region and unsuitable for heavily armoured Mughal horses, Udaipur remained safe from Mughal influence despite much pressure. At present, Maharana Mahendra Singh Mewar is the 76th custodian of the Mewar dynasty. Topic geography Topography Udaipur is located at 24.525049 degrees north 73.677116 degrees east, 24.525049, 73.677116. The city covers an area of 64 square kilometers and lies at an altitude of 598.00 meters 1962 feet above sea level. It is located in the southern region of Rajasthan, near the Gujarat border. The city lies 403 kilometers (250 miles) southwest of the state capital, Jaipur, and 250 kilometers (155 miles) northeast from Ahmedabad. Udaipur, with its lakes, lies on the south slope of the Aravalli Range in Rajasthan. The northern part of the district consists generally of elevated plateaus, while the eastern part has vast stretches of fertile plains. The southern part is covered with rocks, hills and dense forest. There are two important passages in the Aravalli Ranges viz. Desori Nal and Sauke which serves as a link between Udaipur and Jodhpur district. File, Udaipur-Rajasthan.jpg Cityscape The lakes of the city being interconnected form a lake system which supports and sustains the ground water recharge, water availability for drinking, agriculture, industries and as a source of employment through tourism. The lake system has three main lakes in its upper catchment area, six lakes within its municipal boundary and one lake in the downstream. The Udaipur lake system, arising out of the river Barak Basin and its tributaries, is an integral component of the upper Barak Basin. The upper Barak Basin is a part of the Gangetic River system, wherein the river Barak meets river Ganga through the rivers Banas, Chambal and Yamuna. The Udaipur Lake system can be divided into the following categories, upper lakes, Lake Bati, Chota Madar and Bada Madar. City lakes, Lake Pikola, Fateh Sagar Lake, Swarup Sagar Lake, Rang Sagar, Kumaria Talab, Govardhan Sagar. Downstream Lake, Udaisagar Lake. River, Ayad River, watershed or the catchment areas include, Bada Madar, 8,780.48 hectares Chota Madar, 2,987.23 hectares Badi Lake, 1,906.55 Hath City lacks an organized sewerage system and treatment facility for the solid wastes and sewage generated. With an absence of waste segregation, processing and scientific disposal facilities, the city's lakes have been facing increased levels of pollution, thereby threatening an ecological degradation. Five of the major lakes have been included under the restoration project of the National Lake Conservation Plan of the Government of India in order to preserve the cleanliness of the water bodies in the city. These are, Fateh Sagar Lake Pikola Lake Swarup Sagar Lake Rangzagar Dude Talay Lakin a judgment passed by the Rajasthan High Court, all bathing activities at the lake shores and immersion of religious idols in the lake waters was banned in the city. The city recently scored poorly in the Swachh Bharat list of the cleanest cities in India, getting placed at 417th position out of a total 476 cities. Climate Udaipur city has a hot semi-arid climate. The three main seasons, summer, monsoon and winter respectively, dominate the city of Udaipur. Being located in the desert lands of Rajasthan, the climate and weather of Udaipur is usually hot. The summer season runs from mid-March to June and touches temperature ranging from 23 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit to 44 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in the months of March to June. Monsoons arrive in the month of July heralded by dust and thunderstorms. 
With lush greenery and enchanting lakes, the sporadic rainfalls enhance the beauty of the city, making it one of the top monsoon destinations of the country. The winter season prevails from the month of October till the month of March. Humidity, which prevails during monsoons, diminishes at the arrival of winters. The city observes pleasant sunny days and enjoyable cool nights with the temperature ranging from 5 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit to 30 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. .Udaipur's winter climate is the most appealing time to visit. Tourists arrive in large numbers, anytime between mid-September to late March or early April. Even in January, the coldest month, the days are bright, sunny and warm with maximum temperature around 28.3 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit. Mornings, evenings and nights are cold. <laughs> Demographics According to the 2011 census, the total population of Udaipur city was 451,100. Including suburbs outside the city limits the population was 474,531. As per the data, the male population of the city was 233,959 and the female population was 217,141 in 2011. The total population for the age group of 0 to 6 years old was 47,932. The sex ratio of the city was 928. The child sex ratio 0 to 6 years of age was 866. Udaipur has an average effective literacy rate of 90.43% as compared to the national average of 74.04%, male literacy rate being 95.41% while the female literacy rate being 85.08%. Hindi and Mewari are the major languages spoken in Udaipur. Marwari, Wagdi, Urdu, and Gujarati are some others which are in use in the city. Hinduism is the major religion followed in the city. Second, most are Muslims with approximately 16% of total population. With a large Jain community, Jainism is amongst the other main religions practiced. Jains makes about 10% of the population, as compared to the national average of 0.37%. Government Udaipur is governed by the Udaipur Municipal Corporation. The corporation has 55 municipal wards and Chandrasingh Kothari is the mayor. The city had city council that was converted into municipal corporation in 2013. Recently, an all-woman police patrol team was deployed in Udaipur. The initiative, taken by the Rajasthan government, is aimed at ensuring security of women from Eve teasers, and for general safety of public, especially tourists. The team is fully equipped with arms, security equipment, first aid and other amenities besides motorcycles for patrolling the city. Economy <inaudible> 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 Udaipur has a diversified economic base. The major contributions to the city's economy come from tourism, agriculture and mineral industries. The handicraft and cottage industry sectors play an important part in contributing to the growing economy. The city has also been included under the Smart Cities mission initiated by the Government of India, and is selected in the list of first 20 cities to be developed as smart cities. In the 2001 census of India, 36% of Udaipur resident were reported to be meaningfully employed. Handicrafts Udaipur is well known for handicrafts such as paintings, marble articles, silver arts and terracotta. The Shilpgram is a platform where regional handicraft and hand loom products is developed. Craft bazaars are organized by the Shilpgram, with an aim to encourage the regional arts and crafts, the handicraft and hand loom works. Tourism Udaipur, with its picturesque landscape, lakes, and historic palaces and architecture, is a major destination for tourists, both domestic and foreign nationals visiting the state. Over 1.4 million tourists visited Udaipur in 2016. With numerous hotels to serve visiting tourists, Udaipur is home to some of the world's most renowned and the country's best luxury hotels and resorts. The Abaroi Udaivilas has been ranked as the world's number one hotel in 2015. The Taj Lake Palace and the Leela Palace Udaipur are also amongst the most expensive hotels in the country. 
With various other renowned hotel chains present in the city, the tourism sector has been a fairly large contributor to the economic growth and fame of Udaipur. As a capital of the erstwhile Mewar Kingdom, Udaipur is also the launching point for visits to the historic forts of Kumbalgar and Chittor and the temple of Ranakpur, Srinathja at Nathdwara and Ekalingji. Religious tourism is a major source of regular visitors to Udaipur. Metals and minerals industry Udaipur district is particularly rich in mineral resources as a large variety of important minerals are found here. Copper, lead, zinc and silver, industrial minerals like phosphate, asbestos, calcite, limestone, talc soapstone, barites, willastonite and marble are the major driving resources behind the industries based in the city. Marble is exclusively mined, processed and exported from here around the world. The marble industry is well set and established with proper infrastructure and technological support for mining and processing. It is the largest sector giving employment to many people of the city and the immigrants from nearby areas. Udaipur is also home to the world's second largest zinc producer, Hindustan Zinc. Electronics, electrical equipment design and manufacturing Udaipur is host to medium and large enterprises designing and manufacturing electronic instruments, control panels, sensitive metering technology and LED lamps. The electrical and electronics industry in Udaipur employs over 6,000 people. These businesses are Tempsons, Pyrotech and Secure Meters Limited. Agriculture Agriculture as in most other parts of the country, remains a leading sector in the city's economy. The major crops of the area are maize and jowar in Karif season and wheat and mustard in the Rabi season. Pulses, groundnut and vegetables like brinjals are some of the major food products grown in the city. The Maharana Pratap University of Agriculture and Technology, along with its affiliated institutions, has been working towards identifying, designing, preparing and adapting new techniques in the field of production technology for agricultural development since its establishment. Retailudaipur has both traditional as well as modern retail shopping destinations. The traditional markets include Bapu Bazaar, Chitak Circle, Siraj Pole, Nehru Bazaar, Bada Bazaar and Chand Pole, while the areas including Durga Nursery Road, Shakti Nagar and Sudkadia Circle provide opportunities to new entrants. Udaipur is also progressing towards a mall culture, and has witnessed many retail malls including Forum Celebration Mall, Lake City Mall, Arvana Shopping Mall, Chitak Shopping Mall, City Center Mall, Mangalam Square Mall and RK Mall. Tourism List Culture Udaipur has received a rich cultural heritage from the bygone ages. The lakes, temples, huge forts and palaces boast about the rich legacy of this city. The city has kept a balance between preserving the rituals and traditions of the past while keeping up with the modern advancements and changes in lifestyle. Like any other place in the state of Rajasthan, folk dance and music have an important place in adding to the city's cultural richness. The dynamic and vibrant dances of Bhavai, Goomer, Kachchi Godi, Kalbelia and Teratali add a sparkle to the rich cultural heritage of Udaipur. Goomer dance is a part of the royal culture of the Mewar region of Rajasthan. This is a community dance for women and performed on auspicious occasions where the ladies move gracefully in circles. Kalbelia, one of the most sensuous dance forms of Rajasthan, is performed by the Kalbelia snake charmers community with the Sapara dancers wearing long, black skirts embroidered with silver ribbons. Bhavai dance consists of veiled women dancers balancing up to seven or nine brass pitchers as they dance nimbly, pirouetting and then swaying with the soles of their feet perched on the top of a glass or on the edge of the sword. Kachchi Godi dance is performed on dummy horses where men in elaborate costumes ride the equally well-decorated dummy horses. Holding naked swords, these dancers move rhythmically to the beating of drums and fifes, following a lineage of age-old traditions and adhering to religious significance. The various dances complement the fairs and festivals held in the city. 
The city's music consists mainly of the use of morchang, nod, tanpura, and sarangi, among many other instruments, that used to echo in the courts of the erstwhile rulers of the state. Miniature paintings are amongst the most famous paintings developed under the patronage of the rulers of Rajasthan. The simplest among these are done on walls, and though folk in style, they nevertheless have some of the flavor of frescoes one sees in the old palaces. The tradition of painting the wall of houses with scenes from mythological and chivalric tales has been prevalent in Rajasthan for the past many centuries. The people of the city make use of such wall paintings for decorations during wedding celebrations. Noted amongst the miniature style of paintings are particularly the pichve, which are those made on cloth, and phad, made on cloth scroll in folk style. The Bharatiya Lok Kala Mandal is a cultural institution based in the city. The institute with its museum is a platform which displays a collection of Rajasthani culture. Offering an insight into the lifestyle of the royal era in Udaipur, the museum has a fine collection of dresses, tribal jewellery, turbans, dolls, masks, musical instruments, paintings and puppets. With various cultural events including folk song and dance performances, theatre and puppetry, the institute highlights the different social stigmas, thereby proving to be a powerful education tool for the masses. Festivals Topic Gangor Festival Gangor is one of the most important local festivals in Rajasthan. In some form or the other it is celebrated all over Rajasthan. Gan is a synonym for Lord Shiva and Gauri or Gaur stands for Goddess Parvati, the heavenly consort of Lord Shiva. Gangor celebrates the union of the two and is a symbol of conjugal and marital happiness. It is celebrated in the month of Kshetra March to April, the first month of the Hindu calendar. This month marks the end of winter and the onset of spring. This festival is celebrated especially by women, who worship clay idols of Gan and Gauri in their houses. These idols are worshipped by the girls who seek the blessings of Gan and Gauri for a good spouse, while the married women pray for the good health and long life of their husbands. On the eve of Gangor festival, women decorate their palms and fingers with henna. Udaipur has the privilege of having a dedicated ghat named after Gangor. Gangor Ghat or Gangori Ghat is situated on the waterfront of Lake Pikola. This ghat serves as a prime location for the celebration of multiple festivals, including Gangor Festival. The idols of Gan and Gori are immersed in the Lake Pikola from this ghat. A traditional procession of Gangor commences from the city palace which passes through various areas of the city. The procession is headed by old palanquins, chariots, bullock carts and performance by folk artists. Topic: <laughs> Shilpgram UTSAV. Shilpgram, a crafts village 3 kilometers west of Lake Fateh Sagar, has displays of traditional houses from Rajasthan, Gujarat, Goa and Maharashtra. There are also demonstrations by musicians, dancers, or artisans from these states. The 10-day festival organized here is a treat for the visitor to an array of exquisite art and craft. One of the important objectives of Shilpgram Festival is in the sphere of increasing awareness and knowledge of rural life and crafts, specifically, for the younger generation. Special emphasis is laid on workshops for children on arts, crafts, theater and music. Hariali Amavasya Hariali Amavasya new moon day of the Sawan, Shravan month marks the beginning of the monsoons and greenery. It arrives three days before the famous Hartalika Tej Shravan Shukla Tritiya. People worship god Shiva for abundant rains and good agricultural season. Milas and fests are arranged in several places in the city. Jagannath Rath Yatra In Udaipur, the third biggest Ratha Yatra is organized on the auspicious day of Ashad Shukla Paksha Bright Fortnight Dwitiya according to Indian Vikram Samvat. On this cultural day of summer solstice theme, June 21 of every year, the journey of the Lord Jagannath to their aunt's house is started. The presiding deities of the temple Lord Jagannath Krishna, Balabhadra Balarama and their sister Subhadra are taken through the streets in heavily decorated wooden chariots, which are made every year for the purpose. The chariot of Lord Jagannath, called Nandigasha, has 16 wheels and is draped in red and yellow. 
The sanctity of the festival is such that even a touch of the chariot or even the ropes with which these are pulled is considered enough to confer the results of several pious deeds or penance for ages. <laughs> Jal Jolna Ekadashi According to the Hindu calendar, Gyaras, or Ekadashi is basically, the eleventh day of each waxing and waning moon This Ekadashi, known as Jal Jolna Gyaras, or Jal Jolna Ekadashi, like all other festivals, is celebrated with great enthusiasm in Udaipur. <laughs> Udaipur in popular culture Udaipur was voted the best city in the world in 2009 by the Travel Plus Leisure magazine, and is now amongst the favorite wedding destinations for Indian as well as foreign nationals. The city is a blend of sights, sounds and experiences, which have made it one of the top destinations for weddings and celebrations. Movies and television Udaipur is mentioned under the spelling Udipur in Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book as the birthplace of Bagheera, the fictional panther in the King's Menagerie. Because of its picturesque and scenic locations, Udaipur has been the shooting location for many Hollywood and Bollywood movies. Indian sections of the James Bond film Octopussy were filmed in the city, the Lake Palace, and the Monsoon Palace. The nearby desert was the backdrop of the remarkable rescue of Octopussy Maud Adams by Bond Roger Moore. Some scenes from the British television series The Jewel in the Crown were also filmed in Udaipur. The Disney Channel film, The Cheetah Girls One World, was shot in Udaipur in January 2008. Some of the other non Indian movies and TV shows filmed in Udaipur include Darjeeling Limited, Opening Night, Heat and Dust, Indish Ring, Inside Octopussy, James Bond in India, The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel, Gandhi, and The Fall. Jag Mandir, a documentary film directed for television by Werner Herzog in 1991, was also filmed in the city. Udaipur has been a popular location for Bollywood movies. Some of them shot here include Dadak, Guide, Mara Saaya, Fool Bane Angare, Kachchi Dage, Mara Gaon Mara Desh, Jalmahal, Yadine, Return of the Thief of the Baghdad, Eklavya, The Royal Guard, Damal, Jeez Desh May Ganga Reda Hai, Kalo Ishq Ladaya, Fiza, Ghadar, Hum Hain Rahi Pyar K, Kuta Gawa, Kundan, Nandini, Sajan Ka Gar, Ye Jawani Hai Diwani, Pataka, Mirzia, Golian Ki Rasalila Ram Lila, Prem Ratan Don Payo. Udaipur is also the setting of various television series like Ye Rishta Kya Kalata Hai, Rocky Ka Swayamwar, and Bharat Ka Veer Putra, Maharana Pratap. Eventsudaipur is a popular destination for organizing various national and international cultural events. Recently, Udaipur hosted the first edition of India's first world music festival, a two day festival held on 13 and 14 February 2016. Performances were made by artists and musicians from more than 12 countries, including Spain, Ghana, Venezuela, Italy, France as well as India. Udaipur is also host for the Udaipur Lake Festival, a cultural event organized by the Udaipur Municipal Corporation. In this festival, musical programs, adventure sports, jungle safari, bird watching, light and sound shows, art fair, etc., are held around the lakes during the three to four day period. Udaipur is also the host city for the first ASEAN art camp being organized by Union Ministry of External Affairs from September 21 to 29. There are total 10 countries included and are taking part in the event, Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, Philippines, Brunei, Thailand, Cambodia, Myanmar, Vietnam and India. This 10-day long art camp acts as a platform for cultural and artistic exchange among the participating countries. Topic Transport Udaipur is well connected to the major cities of India by land, rail and air. Air Maharana Pratap Airport, is a small domestic airport situated in a satellite town about 20 km from Udaipur. Daily flights connect Udaipur with Jaipur, Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Surat and Varanasi. Air India, Jet Airways, Indigo and Spice Jet are operational at present. The airport having just three boarding gates, gate 1 is on the ground floor while gates 2 and 3 are at the first floor, and only 10 check-in counters can barely handle 600 passengers at a time. The airport has been renovated by the Airport Authority of India for a though remote but possible international airport status. 
Reludipur City Railway Station and Rana Pratap Nagar Railway Station are two railway stations in Udaipur. Through them, Udaipur has direct train connectivity on the broad gauge network to most of the major cities in Rajasthan and the rest of India such as Mysuru, Kajuraho, Alwar, Jaipur, Kota, Chittorgarh, Ajmer, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Ratlam, Indore, Ujjain, Mumbai, Surat, Vidodara, Gwalior and Agra and a broad gauge conversion is going on to Ahmedabad. Famous luxurious trains, the Palace on Wheels, Royal Rajasthan on Wheels, Maharaja Express and the Indian Maharaja have Udaipur as the scheduled stop on their itinerary. The popular trains connecting Udaipur with the capital of India, Delhi are Mewar Express and Chitak Express. Road the city lies on the intersection point of East-West Corridor, Golden Quadrilateral, National Highway NH 76 and National Highway NH 8, midway between Delhi and Mumbai, located around 700 km from either city. The East-West Corridor which starts from Porbandar and ends at Silchar is intersecting the Golden Quadrilateral and shares the common space from Udaipur to Chittor. The roads in this part of the country are paved and fit for private vehicles. One can either drive from Jaipur around 6 hours, Ahmedabad 4.1, 2 hours or Surat 9 hours on NH8 or Golden Quadrilateral, from Kota 3 hours, EU Corridor or NH76. Udaipur City Bus Depot has lines running for majority of other destinations in Rajasthan and farther north and west towards Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. Apart from Rajasthan State Road Transport Corporation RSRTC, there are numerous private operators and companies providing bus services to and from the other cities. Local transport unmetered taxis, private taxi, radio taxi, auto rickshaws, and regular city bus services are available in the city. Since 2015 Uber and Ola cab services are available. Topic: Places nearby Apart from the local attractions within the city, there are several charming places to see around Udaipur. Each place has a great legacy of cultural, spiritual and traditional history. Various such places with rich historical background and importance, lakes and forests and important religious temples and shrines are located nearby the city. Most of them are easily accessible by road and railways. Sports. Popular sports include cricket, football, hockey, tennis, chess, badminton, archery, etc. Stadiums Gandhi Ground is the main sports venue for various events, like athletics, basketball, field hockey, football, co-co and volleyball. Love Kush Indoor Stadium is generally used for the indoor sports especially badminton and TT. Maharana Bhupal Stadium is a multi-purpose stadium used for organizing matches of football, cricket and other sports. For encouraging sports in the city and even for encouraging international sports in the city, a step has been put forward by establishing Kelgaon Village or Maharana Pratap Kelgaon in Chitrakut Nagar. It will be committed to 12 sports namely like basketball, volleyball, tennis, ko-ko, kabaddi, handball, archery, rifle shooting, judo, karate, boxing, swimming, squash. Udaipur International Cricket Stadium is a proposed cricket stadium in Udaipur. In 2013, after a dispute between Rajasthan State Sports Council and Rajasthan Cricket Association over the availability of Sawai Mansingh Stadium during the Indian Premier League, the RCA decided to have plans of having their own stadium. RCA has gained land in Udaipur with 9.67 acres from the Udaipur Improvement Trust on a 99 year lease, and stadium will have a capacity of 35,000. Cricketudaipur has several cricket clubs and is home to many state level players. Ashok Minaria of Udaipur has represented India in U19 World Cup. Ashok Minaria and Dashant Yagnik of the city have played in IPL for Rajasthan Royals. Chess Chess is a popular game in the city among both young and senior players. Udaipur has over 80 international FIDE rated chess players. Players from Udaipur have represented Rajasthan several times in different nationals like Chandrajit Rajawat, Kapil Dadak, etc. Udaipur also has top FIDE rated players of Rajasthan recognized by AICF. Water sports The city's lakes provide an opportunity for the water sports. 
The nearby Jaisaman Lake, situated about 56 km from the city, is equipped with water sports facilities with a range of different boats available. Kayaking and canoeing sport camps have also been started at the Fateh Sagar Lake. The city also hosted the 2012 National Kayaking and Canoeing Championship with Lake Fathasagar serving as the venue. Powerlifting The Asian Powerlifting Championships 2016, organized by Indian Powerlifting Federation, and sanctioned by Asian Powerlifting Federation and International Powerlifting Federation, was held in Udaipur from 7 June 2016 to 12 June 2016. The city also served as the venue for the Asian Powerlifting Championships in 2012. Education Udaipur is home to various government, deemed and private universities. Mohan Lal Sukhadia University, Maharana Pratap University of Agriculture and Technology and Rajiv Gandhi Tribal University are the major government universities in the city while J.R.N. Rajasthan Vidyapith is a deemed university. The Indian Institute of Management Udaipur, established in 2011 also resides in the city. The city has a college dedicated to dairy and food science, various dental and nursing colleges, commerce and management colleges and hotel management institutes. Udaipur is the first district in Rajasthan to have implemented a smart class system in all the government schools, enabling them with information and communication technologies infrastructure. This model of ICT in education is getting replicated in all government schools of ICT infrastructure of Rajasthan state. This ICT-based initiation was started on 4 December 2013 by Department of Education, Udaipur in joint initiative with Moini Foundation, Jaipur and is popularly known as Project Utkarsha According to the Census 2011 data on educational status, Udaipur, with 26 graduates for every 100 persons, has the highest percentage of graduates in the entire state. Media. Newspapers in Udaipur include Hindi dailies Rajasthan Patrika, Dainik Bhaskar, Nabarat Times, Aprana Times and Pratikal. The Times of India, The Economic Times, The Hindustan Times, The Hindu are the English language newspapers circulated in the city. The national, state-owned All India Radio is broadcast both on the medium wave and FM bands 101.9 MHz in the city. Also broadcast in the city there are four private local FM stations, Radio City FM 91.9 MHz, Big FM 92.7 MHz, My FM 94.3 MHz and Radio Tadka 95 MHz. The public broadcaster Doordarshan provides a regional channel besides the mainstay channels. The city is switching over to digitalization of cable TV as per the third phase of the digitalization program by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. See also Sejlaishishvi Udaipur District Udaipur Division Tourist attractions in Udaipur History of Udaipur Related portals <laughs>